We are thankful for our Chimes Choir to begin our worship tonight. I greet you in the name of Christ, born in Bethlehem, God's gift of love and light for the world. What a special and holy night this is, as we come together to celebrate the beauty of Christmas Eve. We welcome all of you, and especially welcome all of you who are visiting out of town, families and friends, and we welcome all of you who are worshiping online with us. We invite you to make use of our connection cards that are inserted in our bulletin and place them in the offering plate to let us know that you've been here and been present with us in worship. Those of you who are worshiping online, please go to the description box in that YouTube page and find links for connection cards, for prayers, and for giving. Friends, in the worship folder in the bulletin, you will find information about the ministries and mission of our church. Perhaps you're looking for a church home, so this will help you to get to know our church. You can also visit our website. Tonight, um, I am so excited for our children to lead us in worship and to tell us the story of Jesus' birth. I know all of you worked so hard to prepare for this night, uh, and you practiced your lines and your singing and your movements, and we're, we're so proud of you, kids, and we love you, and we're so thankful that you are here to share the story of Jesus as his birth with us. So, friends, uh, we welcome you to our Christmas Eve service, and all Advent, we've been lighting candles on our Advent wreath, and tonight we actually get to light all of them, including the Christ candle. So I'm inviting the Seas family to help us lead us in the lighting of the candles. Our Savior's birth is celebrated with bold faith. May our hearts be willing. Like Mary, who showed humble surrender. May our hearts be willing. Like Joseph, who exhibited unconditional trust. May our hearts be willing. Like the shepherds, who displayed awestruck wonder. May our hearts be willing. Like the angels, who sang glorious praise. For all who are willing to receive the gift of the Savior born in Bethlehem. Where can we might have the peace of Christ as we wait, the love of Christ as we act, and the grace of Christ as we speak? Tonight we light the Christ candle as a symbol and reminder of the light of Christ shining in this world. The light of Christ shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The light of Christ shows us the way. The light of Christ heals the wounds of this world and of our own. The light of Christ connects us with God and one another. As we celebrate this brilliant light on this holy night, may Christ's child come to us again and be our Savior, the Lord. May Christ be our light.
please join me our opening, in our opening prayer. God of light and hope, of stars and surprises, open our eyes to your glory and our hearts to your presence, that we may respond to with joy and to angels' song. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Stand as you are able to join in our opening hymn.
reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in a pitch dark land, light has dawned. You have made the nation great. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as those who divide plunder rejoice. As on the day of Midian, you've shattered the yoke that burned them, the staff on their shoulders, and the rod of their oppression. Because every boot of the thundering warriors and every garment rolled in blood will be burned, fueled by the fire. A child is born to us, a son is given to us, and authority will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. There will be vast authority and endless peace for David's throne and for his kingdom, establishing and sustaining it with justice and righteousness now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of heavenly forces will do this. Please join us in our responsive prayer. Let us pray for miracles to be born in our world this Christmas. May the church share the light of Christ in the dark corners of injustice. May we hope lift up the weary. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are surviving in poverty. May the hungry find nourishment, and may our homeless find safety in your shelter. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for love to be born in places of hatred. May guns be silenced this holy night. May the darkness of racism, homophobia, religious divisions, wars, and every violence be brought into light of faith, trust, and calm. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for harmony at our family tables this Christmas. May divine compassion heal our hearts and bring peace. May we be comforted comfort and supported among our loved ones. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Let us join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
Our message this evening is taken from Luke chapter 2 and Matthew chapter 2. Joseph and Mary, a pitiful sight, so tired and dirty they'd give you a fright. In Bethlehem there were no rooms and no bed, but a kindly innkeeper had offered a shed. Mary was expecting, and the child came that night. He shone with God's presence, his face seemed delight. In a world filled with hatred and fear, God sent down love to be born with us here. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem, the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Shepherds were watching their flocks in the night when we were terrified by a dazzling sight. Out of the darkness an angel appeared. What were we seeing? What's happening here? The angel said, don't be afraid, I bring you joy. A savior is born as a small baby boy. Go to Bethlehem, shepherds, the angels directed, to see Jesus the Christ whom God has perfected. A choir of angels then filled up the sky singing out glory to God on high. Peace on earth, God will to all. Now go, you'll find him asleep in a star. The angel song calmed us, and then we had faith. Let's go to Bethlehem and seek out the place. We went to the stable, worshiped the Lord. As we left, we began to spread the good word.
Nearby, shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their sheep. The Lord's angel stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. Look, I bring good news to you, wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. Suddenly, a multitude of the heavenly host was with the angel, praising God. They said, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill to all. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go right now to Bethlehem and confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. They went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw this, they reported what they had been told about this child. Everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds told them. The star shone brightly, leading wise men as they searched for the king born in Bethlehem. They came bearing gifts and worship and love, thanking God for this wonder from heaven above. These magis were kings, yet they knelt on the ground, humbled with praise for the child they had found. They knew he was special, God's very own son. He came here on earth to love everyone. After Jesus was born, three magi came from the east to Jerusalem, asking, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We've seen his star in the east, and we've come to honor him. The star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stood over the place where the child was. They entered the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother, falling to their knees. They honored him. They opened their treasure chests and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The child grew up and became strong. It was filled with wisdom, and God's favor was on him. At this time, junior choir members can gather back on the steps, ushers can head to the back, and all other children can return to sitting with their families. We celebrate God's gift of love with us today, and we celebrate what God is doing in the local community and across the world through the ministries of our church. As ushers are invited forward, let us give with joy to the fulfillment of God's purposes in the world so that we can continue to love God, grow in Christ, and live to serve. How far is it to Bethlehem? Not very far. Shall we find a stable lit by a star? Can we see the little child missing within? If we lift the world and watch, may we go.
Give him my heart. Loving God, accept these gifts as the praise and thanksgiving of our hearts, which rejoice in your goodness. Let our gifts point to your presence with us and further your dream for the world. Through Jesus Christ, amen. You may be seated. We are nearing the end of our worship together, so if you didn't receive a glow stick on the way in, please raise your hand and our ushers will work to get one to you. If you are in the back and you're close to the glow sticks and you think you could help grab a basket, that would work as well. Like, Bob, can you go on that side? Thank you. So just raise your hand if you or anyone in your family needs a glow stick. has been such a joy to worship with you this evening and I pray that you have been blessed by this celebration of Christ's birth brought by the children of our congregation. As you leave tonight, please take an ornament found in baskets uh, by the exits to the sanctuary and hang it on your Christmas tree. Our U2 age kids, fourth through sixth graders, help to make these and we hope that each time you look at it, you will remember the love of this church family. Now go ahead and crack your glow stick if you haven't already. Shake it up. And let's stand together and join in singing Silent Night.
beloved people of God. Just as the shepherds heard the angels' news and rushed to find the Christ child, go now glorifying and praising Jesus, declaring the good news. Our wondrous light has come. Thanks be to God. Amen.